Today we are going to learn how to convert them. This is a critical part of our job as health care providers. We must approach it with care and respect. To convert unexpected death, you will need the following items. A statistical, a pen light, a watch with a second hand and relevant documentation. Let's go through the process step by step. First step, ensure the environment is safe for you. Then convey patient's ID to make sure you have the correct patient by conveying patient's name and that of birth. The second step, approach the patient calmly and call their name loudly. You can also gently shake their shoulder, saying, Nergiza, can you hear me please? If there is no any response, we need to move forward. Third step, check for signs of life. To check for signs of life, focus on these three aspects, the breathing, pulse rate, and heart sound. Let's start by checking breathing. Look at the chest movement carefully to see if it smooths up and down, which shows the breathing. Listen by the mouth and mouth for at least one minute for any sound of the breathing. If there is no chest movement and no sound of the breathing, check the pulse. Place the two fingers the side of the neck where the carotid iron is located and feel for pulse. Take it at least one minute to check. If you, if you can't feel pulse, go to the next step by listening heart sound. Using a stethoscope, place it on the chest. Listen carefully for any heartbeat. You should listen for at least one minute. If you can't hear anything else, continue with further intervention. The fourth step, check the pupils twice. A shun a light directly into the patient's eyes. If the pupil is of white, white or dilate means what? No contraction, dilate. Yes. And don't react to the light. This is the another sign that the patient has passed. Fifth step, check for reflux. Check if the patient has any reflux. Gently pinch the skin. You can also crack the sternum. If there is no response to the pain, the body is no longer reacting. After checking all this step and finding no sign of life, we can confirm that the patient has passed away. Documentation is very important. So write down everything you find. We find a what now? Patient, no response? Mm -hmm. No movement? No breathing? Okay, no people dilated. The people, no, it's the people dilated, no contraction. Do you understand me? Also, there's no any breathing. Now we can confirm that the patient passed away. 